My name is Annette Tombaugh, and I am Clyde Tombaugh's oldest child. I'm Alden Tombaugh. I'm his son. A lot of the details of the discovery of Pluto actually started with my father telling my sister and I uh, about how he got the opportunity to be in the discovery process at Lowell Observatory. It started out in farming. He worked with the soil. Well, when he moved to Kansas, there were a lot of fossils there. And he wondered about uh, life on other worlds, other planets. He didn't have the opportunity at that time to go to college. They had had several bad years of crop because of the weather conditions. They barely had enough money to reseed their, their next year's crops. He started out building telescopes and he enjoyed working with glass. He liked um, the process of grinding the mirrors and putting the optics together and assembling it all and using leftovers from the farm equipment to make them. He came out of the depression and he you know, used everything he could. The first one was a pretty miserable failure in his words. And then the third one he built was the nine inch. And that turned out to be a very good telescope. And it enabled him to be able to draw pictures of his Mars observations. When he um, first wrote to Lowell Observatory, he wanted them to uh, give him suggestions to build better telescopes. And so he sent them some of his drawings of Mars and Jupiter, and they wrote back that they would like to hire him <laughs> to work there. In those days, he helped keep the furnace running because it was a wood-burning furnace that heated the administration building. Uh, they had a lot of snow there, and in order to keep the roofs from collapsing, he got on the roof and, and kept the roof cleaned off. He was a very hands-on person. He had to uh, pour the emulsions for the uh, photographic plates, because in those days you poured your own emulsions. So the surface of the plates had to be slightly curved. They would break. So he redesigned the plate holder so that they wouldn't have that problem. Then is when he had to really buckle down to the drudgery of looking for a planet. He did it on a blink comparator. It takes time. You do the, the exposures, then uh, maybe a week later or even longer, you blink the plates on the blink comparator back and forth, and then you would verify you predict where it would be at another particular night. We got a pretty clear indication at that point in time of how much work it really did take because just of the massive number of objects that he had to scan. And these are little tiny specks of light. They're like fly specks on a piece of glass. He thought he had found something, so he got up and went into uh, Dr. Lamplin's office and said, Dr. Lamplin, I believe I have found your planet X. For a minute, he was the only, only one that knew that there was another object out there, another planet. And that made him feel elated, unusual. He continued to work at Lowell after the discovery for quite a while. And then he moved to um, Lawrence to go to school. Uh, that's how my parents met. So, you know, the discovery led to the scholarship, which led to the marriage, which led to the family. <laughs> then he later on, when we moved to New Mexico, uh, he worked for White Sands on the V-2 rockets, tracking them and de designing paint patterns that would make it easier to track them. Then when he left White Sands, he went to work at New Mexico State University with the physical science laboratory there. Well, my father had what is called a dry sense of humor. He was, uh, to some degree, a very serious individual, but his humor really came down as puns. At one time when he was in White Sands, he had, you have to go through a security gate, and. So he'd gone up to the security gate, and the guard said, uh, I, I see, see that your wheels have stopped turning. And my father said, yes, they're tired. And everybody would kind of just groan, because that's what you do when somebody puns. He loved doing that. And he always there was always a little smile, a little raise in the corner of his, of his lips when he saw that somebody else enjoyed 
his uh, puns on words. He discovered a lot of objects, um, many, many asteroids, and I can't tell you, it was in the 200 range. More than anything else, I think my dad was a teacher. He wanted to share his love and his enthusiasm with other people to inspire them to do things. And he was very successful in doing that. He was proud of his achievement of discovering Pluto. That was a lot of hard work. But I think he was proudest of his role as a teacher and a spreader of love of astronomy. He enjoyed being around young people a lot. He got a lot of awards, but he should have gotten an award as a dad because he was a wonderful dad. As he got older, it got harder and harder for him to move his telescopes around to inspire other people to teach him to take him out to the schools. He mounted it on an old lawnmower base in order to make it easily transportable. And it worked out beautifully, and he just put it in a little shed, and somebody come over and he'd pull it out. We call it the grazer gazer, <laughs> as in grazing, <laughs> mowing the lawn, and gazing at the stars. I like speed, uh, and so the speed that the New Horizons spacecraft has it had obtained during its mission and still obtains is pretty fascinating to me. Uh, one of the fastest objects that uh, that has ever been man developed. Uh, so I like that relationship, obviously. So it's it's kind of a natural for me to to note the speed of that vehicle and the technology that was required in order to obtain that and the necessity to obtain that to get to Pluto within an acceptable period of time. I think my dad would be thrilled with the new horizon. I mean, who wouldn't be? When he looked at Pluto, it was just a speck of light. Some of my father's ashes are on that spacecraft and part of him got to visit the speck on the plates that he discovered in 1930. It, it's gonna be something that has become an integral part of our lives and our family's lives. He would have been astounded. And I'm sure that to have the planet that you discovered better defined, better understood, it would have meant so much to him.